everybody how's it going this is dr who this is the wilderness years this is probe and this is the zero imperative this is one of three of these that were made i believe so i'm probably just going to watch them in like order of when they came out but i don't know if they all came out in the same year i don't know if they were spread over like a couple of years i'll have to look into that because it'll help when it comes to, like releasing these on youtube as well so i think so far what's been my favorite thing about watching these wills and the shares is you can tell that they've been made by people who have like grew up with the show and like love the show which is always really sweet when you get like productions like this i think so far my favorites have probably been i love wartime really enjoys downtime as well even though that was kind of like a, a rewatch a rewatch but not because i i didn't really remember much about it i just remembered some of the people who were in it more than anything and it's just been nice to see all of these characters all of these actors come back to these and you know be their characters again because it's just been lovely to see it like because they clearly missed it they clearly loved the show as well so they came back and, and did like these little films and i just think it's really nice that they actually did all of these because they could have literally just left it and not done anything and then we would have had nothing and until the movie really so i just think it's really nice that that was something that they did probe sounds weird it kind of because it's like an acronym it's kind of given me kind of like a man from uncle type vibe so i'm thinking it's probably something to do with i don't know maybe science unit something again maybe so i'm going to get on into this let's go <laughs> I don't... Oh, good God, what is this? I already don't like this. This is creepy as shit. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Colin Dove, Director and Acting Chief Executive of the Hawthorne Clinic Trust. <laughs> Look at his hair. I'm sure you all know that I had expected to, I had expected to announce that the Hawthorne Clinic was to shut down. What's changed? Well, much to my surprise, Miss Shaw, I've been told the clinic has been given a 12-month reprieve <laughs> due to uh, personal intervention by a certain Mr. Peter Ross. It's Clay. Does? Clinics are linked. So it would seem seven deaths. And in 15 months, the only link you can come up with is a psychiatric hospital. Oh, this is cute. Get more tangible than that if I'm going to keep the yard out. Trouble is, apart from the absence of soldiers, <laughs> Probe reminds me of another acronymic organization. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> I thought I'd already made it clear. That's the point. Nothing has been made clear. They've literally got everybody back. This is crazy. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. But this is a psychiatric hospital, Mr. Russell. Mm. What do you know about mental health? Anything? I'm here to learn. But I do know how to run a tight ship. This is actually quite cleverly written, like all the little <laughs> links to like Doctor Who is clever. arrived. I want him kept out of the way. You're too close now. Well, he'll do just as he pleases. Oh. He always has. He's your responsibility. It's like a patient zero. That's probably why it's called the zero imperative. Sylvester. Listen, Liz. What is it? There's been another murder. Yeah. Oh, my son, you're right. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Oh, God. He's patient zero. His son is patient zero. Eight deaths in a radius of 50 miles, all within 15 months. Of the clinic? Yeah. And the clinic is at the centre of it. Mm. Geographically, at least. It's That's the epicentre. That's to you. You must allow me full and free access to this clinic at all times. I need to run some tests. I saw it happen. So what happened? Matter. Beatrice got a call to come to Ward 4. 
The patient's name was Clegg. Just a commoner garden schizo, but he'd been making progress. So we moved him. But he used to have the room next to zero. Oh! Something tore him to pieces. Why would you confide in me? Is this a thing? thing? have to do with all this. Is that why she Jeremiah. hasn't is he league with dogs? <laughs> entertained <laughs> William? Your, your guardian is guilty of nothing, except perhaps a surfeit of compassion. Compassion for whom? A patient in room zero. His son. Who is zero? Who is he? Who is zero? I don't know. I don't know who, who they is are. zero? They? Oh, totally is a thing. Holy shit. He smiled. Doors open. Holy. That's the thing I don't like. They always bring kids into it and kids make it creepy. Oh. He lasted longer than I thought he would. How can you let this happen? Look, Ruffy knew what was going on and now he's dead. Just calm down, calm down. I'll organise things. I'll organise things. What the hell? It started. He spoke to us, don't you see? He spoke to you when? In the zero room, Miss Shaw. The zero room. He was still alive when you and Dr. Hurst found him. I love that it's called the zero room. <laughs> still alive. The police have got Dove. They're questioning him right now. Do you know what parahelion is? Of course. Well, it's the point in the orbit of a planet. Planetary body, anyway. It's the point in its orbit when it comes closest to the sun. Are we approaching one? Oh. Someone is. Patient zero? The closest point. Closest to them. Almost touching. Almost. Sylvester does crazy so well. Like, it's you brilliant. Implicated in the deaths of two people, possibly a further eight. I have nothing to do with them. Then try oh, to help me. That detachment. Who did those people? Nobody. Do you remember my telling you about how I lost all my family accidentally? Oh, yes, I was always upset because all the other children had grandparents and I didn't. Oh, shit. That wasn't true. They didn't die in an accident. Did he kill them? His brother? They were murdered. Murdered? Yes. His brother Zero? By him. It's like he puts them in a trance or something. Oh shit. Evil is about to burst through into our world. Yes. I must be there when they come through. I want to see what it's like. <laughs> Not in the way Sylvester does. Can't do it alone. Oh man. Yeah, he's dead. Zero. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll do it. It's my father. What? And you're okay. Now. Hey, 
patient zero is my real father. There must have been dozens like him throughout the ages. Sensitives. People they could act through. He's their second best subject. Oh! <gasps> Who's their first? Get out of there! It's you. They need you and Zero. Together, and he said he couldn't go there. Get out! It's too late! Oh, Jesus. I, I think maybe Sylvester could possibly try and... Oh, no, Sylvester's gone. Sylvester's out of it. Push them back, Daniel! Opened. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, shit. Oh. I honestly got enjoyed this a lot more than I expected to. This was really cool to see that so many of these people came back. So we had Liz, we had John, we had Sylvester, we had Colin, we had Louise. And it was just at the very beginning, I think we even had Sophie for a little bit. That was like so cool. And all the way through this, all I was thinking to myself was, I hope we get a scene where John and Carolyn are like, get at least get to meet each other because that would be so nice. I really enjoyed how this was written, actually. I think out of all of them I've watched so far, for me, this has probably been the best written or the most well written because there was just all these little tidbits in there that just kept making me smile like little references like the zero room and then other things that they were talking about as well and how all of the, <laughs> the previous doctors their occupations were doctors i just thought that was really really cool and just having liz back just made this for me because i've always been like a massive pro liz person and i always feel like liz doesn't get the kind of love as a character that she deserves and I just adored her a lot. I loved that little picture she had of the Brigadier in her office as well and seeing that there was this kind of occurrence that would happen and that was the whole reason why Zero was murdering people. For the most of this episode I genuinely thought Zero was going to be the son of John's character, Dr O'Kane, but then it turned out it wasn't. It was actually his brother and Colin's character ended up being the son so John was actually his uncle not just his guardian and it was like it was it took me by surprise actually it was a twist that I 100% just never expected at all and I really think it worked quite well it was nice having that kind of supernatural element in it as well and Liz and her pipe and like her little team just doing things loved it I just thought it was great. I feel like we probably didn't get enough of some people in this, but I'm assuming it was probably more like the time they had available to come back, especially like Louise and Sophie. But to see that we've got all of these people it was just great. My favourite scene was probably the one at the end where they were just sat there having tea and Liz called John Doctor. And it's just things like that just kind of are what make these, I think. And that was genuinely, genuinely so sweet to see that. And I loved Matt Gatiss in this. I thought he was really good. And I love that he wrote it as well. And it's nice that his origins kind of like are here. And he's been involved for such a long time now. And I just thought it was a really nice story. To see at the end as well, that even though they were able to stop this thing coming through, or at least they believe they did, it just went from z room zero to room one and in room one <laughs> there's Peter so I'm assuming in the next episode in the next probe it's going to be a case of we now have to get this out of Peter so it's going to be an interesting thing to watch I may just go watch that and I will see you guys later so thank you